Hey guys, let's talk about something that many of us find hard to discuss. Erectile dysfunction, or ED. From the moment you step into adulthood, your sexuality becomes a crucial part of who you are. Navigating relationships and intimacy is already challenging, but throwing ED into the mix can feel downright impossible. If you're struggling with ED, you might feel embarrassed or emasculated. Trust me, you're not alone, and it's completely normal to feel this way. Now let's break down what ED is, how it affects your mental health, and how you can start moving toward a solution. Erectile dysfunction, often called impotency, is the inability to get or maintain an erection sufficient for sex. It's a complex issue with both medical and psychological causes, ranging from conditions like hypertension, diabetes and low testosterone to psychological stresses. Here's a surprising fact. Over half of men between 40 and 70 deal with ED, but many remain silent due to fear or embarrassment. Now let's talk about the mental health effects. Many men don't seek help because they believe they should handle their problems alone or feel ashamed to discuss it with partners. This secrecy can lead to isolation, making the situation even worse. The outdated notion that men must always be ready for sex and solve their problems alone only adds to the difficulty of seeking help. Feeling alone and trapped can intensify the problem, but it doesn't have to be this way. The first step toward treatment is admitting there's an issue that needs addressing. It's natural to feel depressed, angry or frustrated, but bottling up those emotions only makes things worse. Open up to your partner and seek medical help. If you're in the Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach or South Florida area and you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, the Urology Center of Florida is here to help. Doctors Craig Herman and Stephen Kester, along with their dedicated staff, have extensive experience treating ED. So when you're ready to take that crucial step, make an appointment online or over the phone. Remember, seeking help isn't a sign of weakness. It's a step towards reclaiming your confidence and well-being. Thanks for watching and take care of yourself.